All right, guys, it's the universal question, what should we have for dinner? So today my answer is Stromboli pot pie, and we are using Pillsbury Original Grand's biscuits, but make sure you get the flaky ones because we want a good flaky, buttery top for our pot pie. So for the Stromboli filling, basically we're using everything you would put in or on a pizza or Stromboli. So the first thing I've got over here is some cooked and crumbled Italian sausage, about a cup or half a pound. All right, the other meat in here is gonna be pepperoni. What would pizza be without pepperoni? And then half of a red onion diced up finely. All right, now for the rest of our vegetables here, you basically want four cups total of chopped vegetables. Today I'm using green bell pepper, mushrooms, broccoli, but you could use anything. This would be a great way to clean out your vegetable drawer. You can do eggplant, zucchini. To make up the last cup, I am doing black olives and my favorite pizza topping, banana peppers. And then, because we're using shortcuts today, shortcut on the sauce, we just need one jar of tomato sauce. The chunkier, the better. And then we need some good melty cheese that's gonna get nice and hot in our pot pie. Just a cup of mozzarella. And that's it, this whole thing gets mixed together and then we'll divide it into eight ramekins. Okay, let's fill our ramekins. I've got eight ramekins here at the ready. And each of these is gonna get about a cup of this filling. I think as far as meals go, this is pretty kid friendly. Who wouldn't love pizza and a buttery biscuit? And it's just so easy. For our pot pie topping, we are just gonna use eight biscuits. And they come eight to a can. And we're just going to roll these out on a floured cutting board. So a little bit of flour, and then we want to roll them just larger than the diameter of the ramekin. It's going to drape over all of that filling and help lock in that yummy goodness. So we're going for about, oh, four inches in diameter. And really, this dough is so forgiving that you could really just smush it out and pat it with your hands if you wanted to. Get the kids to do this part. All right, once we're all ironed out, we're just gonna drape these over our ramekins by very simply placing them over the top and then just kind of pinching them to the sides of the ramekin. All right, I think they look so cute. They're all cozy and tucked away, ready to go in the oven. Next thing I wanna do before they go in is just a little bit of egg wash over the top. Get them nice and shiny. All right, next up to bat to make our crust extra tasty is some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, the last thing is just a teeny tiny bit of Italian dried herb seasoning. This is a blend of basil, oregano, marjoram. All right, that's it. These guys are ready to go in the oven. So we are heated to 375 degrees, 20 to 25 minutes, and in that time, our filling will get hot and bubbly, cook all the vegetables, and then the crust will get golden brown and puffy. All right, guys, here we go. Didn't I tell you these would come out gorgeous? They're nice and shiny, dark brown, nice and crisp, and hopefully they'll make this nice, hollow thumping sound. So there you have it, Stromboli pot pie using Pillsbury Grand's